Uh, so my name's Tyson Austin, I'm a Gunajamara and Wamba Wamba man. Um, I've been a Collingwood supporter uh, sort of all my life, going to the football with uh, my dad. I had that relationship with the football club uh, for a long time. It's a, sort of always been an ambition of mine to, um, to design one of the jumpers and you know, I'm really excited that uh, they were able to collaborate with uh, my cousin Troy in uh, bringing uh, this concept to life um, and you know, in telling a story um, of the club in terms of um, you know, that healing and um, some of the past things that have happened at the club and, and uh, moving forward into the future and some of the, you know, the really exciting times that are coming up into the future for the club. My name is Troy Soraya Ilsley. I'm a Wamba Wamba and Gunshamara woman. When Tyson asked me if I wanted to do this project with him, knowing, how, like, knowing what Collingwood meant to my family, I was more than excited to be a part of it and help bring the vision to life. So yeah, the, uh, the story of the, uh, the dress and the Guernsey, uh, it's really about acknowledging what has happened in the past at the football club um, and you know, some of the, the healing and, you know, and, and moving forward and you know, the club evolving. So you'll notice within the, within the stripes, you know, the, the shapes of the stripes are sort of a bit wavy and inside the, the stripes as well there's also um, some light lines in there. And that's representative of uh, like a smoking ceremony. And a smoking ceremony is uh, a time of uh, cleansing, a time of uh, renewal. Uh, so that's really about uh, that past, um, you know, and healing that past. Uh, the club is still doing some, you know, going through through that process. Um, but we understand that you know things are you know, happening and going forward the right way. Uh, so that's what the stripes represent. Uh, the feathers on the front, you know, that's sort of the main element of it, and that's about. Uh, the renewal of the of the magpie, so the magpie shedding its feathers, and really representative of a season of change uh, within the club. So on the back, you will see that we have a kulamon, which is a traditional item that we use to carry things. And the way we wanted to link that into our story is that within the kulamon, you'll see that we have some magpie eggs, and we want that to represent um, nurturing those eggs um, until they're ready to hatch. But also we thought about um, having new people come into the club, being nurtured, new leaders coming into the club and taking the club forward as well. So it's about nurturing and protecting. You know, we've got new coaches, new president. Uh, so there's been a lot of change at the club uh, of recent times. So, you know, that's really about shedding that past, I suppose, and that rebirth and, um, you know, that next generation of leaders coming forward and uh, ready to take the club in the right direction. When we got announced that we actually won the competition, it felt nice because it was our debut piece together and that kind of inspired us to want to take our art further and continue um, collaborating on other projects. So we're first cousins, you know, we share a grandmother and, you know, our, our mums are sisters. So. Um, <clears throat> I've always sort of had Troy there and you know like knew that she was you know, such a fantastic artist so I've been doing some digital art um, but you know Troy is really great with sort of you know pen and paper um, the real the physical art so um, with, with Troy's help um, and sort of you know my knowledge and on, on um, you know digital art we're able to you know come together and, and bring this concept to life. It was a good way for us to gain our confidence and also test our skills. And it's always great when the family gets super happy, knowing that the household is 90% Collingwood supporters. Everyone was really happy. <laughs> so yeah, it, it was a really good, sweet moment. Uh, my mum and my grandmother taught me how to paint at a really young age. So a lot of my style is inspired by them as well. So when mum was seeing, you know, her style being embedded within the Guernsey, she felt like she was respected and involved as well. So that was a really heartfelt moment for her, knowing that she gave me those teachings and those teachings are visible in the Guernsey in the dress. It was really awesome for her as well. Yeah, and you know, of course, being involved in, um, you know, Sir Doug Nichols' round, uh, you know, Sir Doug Nichols was such a you know, strong leader within our community. Um, you know, he, he was, he did so much for you know the local community around Victoria uh, and beyond. Um, 
you know, so uh, to be involved in the round named in his honour, uh, you know, is really something special as well. Having our culture displayed and celebrated um, is the best thing ever. And the one thing I really love seeing is um, non-Indigenous people wearing the Indigenous Guernsey with pride because they wanted to wear it and they loved the design and they loved the stories behind it. For me, that was the one of the best bits of coming to the football games and knowing that now people are going to be wearing a Guernsey that we designed just makes me feel proud.